Well, my friends, welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Chris Salcedo Show here on Newsmax TV. For those of you who are new to the program, allow me to introduce myself. I am your liberty-loving Latino. Do not confuse me with loudmouth leftist Latinos out there. I actually love my country, the United States of America. I want to see it preserved as the beacon of freedom, uh, freedom to, uh, to properly hold on to hope, to have some sort of inspiration out there. My political adversaries, they're trying to change all of that by attacking the very foundation of the United States, our Constitution and the rule of law. The Biden administration continued Barack Obama's third anti-cop term by issuing another executive order. You'll love this one. It was aimed at attacking the nation's police officers and in so doing, eroding the safety and security of our communities and undermining the rule of law. You see, Biden's order, uh, and many of them, they're so unpopular they couldn't ever pass the United States Congress. This current one will establish a police oversight commission and restore an Obama-era policy that prohibits the sale of military equipment to local police departments to keep our men and women in blue safe. Team Obama or Team Biden, who can keep it all straight now, they're committed to defunding our police and making sure their lives are put in greater danger while they work to deliver for the criminal element here in America. Naturally, we here at the Chris Salcedo Show oppose Democrat socialist efforts. The question is, what do we do about it? What do Americans do when Washington refuses to listen? Taking action, that's our focus in tonight's preamble. From illegal immigration to the national debt, from national defense to the bloated and unaccountable size and scope of the federal government, from Americans being left to the mercy of monopolistic big tech fascists, to the unequal application of law based on one's political affiliation. The federal government has bailed on we the people long ago. The government's conduct has been disgraceful, whether it be from the Congress or the courts. This government, well, beyond any shadow of doubt at this point, has grown beyond the consent of the governed. We saw evidence of this in the last election. We saw further evidence of the frightening opening days of the Biden administration and their extremist policies. Consider this headline from BizPack Review coming out of New Mexico. Bear in mind that New Mexico is a left-wing state carried by Joe Biden. Quote, New Mexico bet on the wrong horse. Biden's new domestic energy ban to devastate state's economy. It turns out that Biden's ban on new oil and gas leases will financially wipe out these once enthusiastic Democrat socialists in that state. Uh, quote, local leaders in communities that border the Permian Basin, one of the most productive regions in the United States, say any moves to make permanent the suspension would be economically devastating for the state, end quote. Now, isn't that the case throughout history? Those who vote for socialism think it will only apply to their political enemies. Now, Democrats in New Mexico, you have an up-close and personal understanding of collectivism. All are equally miserable. It looks like conservative states may be joined soon enough by some of those Democrat states now facing the impending financial doom brought on by Biden's anti-American policies. But what is our course, we the people? The first step is to rein in Washington. Now, I don't want you guys to feel badly. You, you don't owe them anything. Remember, they bailed on you first. As we've established, they really don't care what you think anyway. Now that the socialists are in control, they scarcely acknowledge you exist. Delivering for communist China, Russia, and Iran has the Democrat socialists' full attention now. So your job, and the job of your family and friends and like-minded neighbors, is to learn the name of your state representative and your state senator. Now, if they're socialists, you must organize in your communities to remove them in the next election. For those of you who are suspect about the last election. Hang on, I'll get to that. Now, if you are represented in your state by the GOP, you must let them know you wish for your state to participate in an Article 5 Convention of States. This is a mechanism put into place into our Constitution by our Founding Fathers in preparation for the coming of what we're seeing today, when Washington, D.C. abandons we the people. For those with Democrat legislatures, well, you've got a lot of work to do. You must all come together, organize, and flip your legislature to GOP. And you must do so within the next two years. Now, you will be aided by Joe Biden. Yes, Joe Biden. As stated, he is undertaking Obama's third term. 
We all remember that Obama's policies were responsible for a record number of Democrat losses down ballot over eight years in various states. Biden, with his left-wing extremist and anti-prosperity policies, will help all of you to turn your states red in opposition to him. Make sure your newly elected GOP leaders deliver on a resolution committing your state to participation in an Article 5 Convention of States. At this convention, amendments will be proposed to tie the hands of the out-of-control, big-spending government in D.C. Now, by the time this convention would convene, our debt will be soaring way out of control. So there will be vigorous debate inside this convention as to which amendment will be offered by state legislators. A balanced budget amendment, repeal of the 17th Amendment, or term limits on federal office holders. Notice I said state legislators. These people are generally closer to you and your family, both physically and in your value system. They also can't hide from you in some faraway capital. Unless you live in a state like New York or California, these legislators have to live in the world they create for you and your family. In other words, as a general rule, they fear your ability to remove them from office more than your alleged representatives in D.C. do. An Article 5 Convention of the States empowers your state reps to rein in your federal reps. Get it? The next step is to watch efforts like the Texit movement in Texas. The idea of giving citizens a vote as to whether they wish to remain as part of the United States is being likened to the UK's choice to leave the European Union. This would be a negotiated separation. The basic theory is that Texas agreed to join the United States of America, a representative republic. Texas did not join the Socialist States of America, nor did Texas concede to be a part of a union that, for example, allows other states in that union to simply disobey election laws whenever it suits their political needs. And that leads to the final course of action that we're examining here today. States that believe in the American principle of one citizen, one vote, which eliminates all you left-wing states out there, those states must return to paper ballots for all state and federal elections. Not only will this provide a so-called receipt for the voter so he or she can cross-check with the state's database to ensure their vote was recorded properly, but paper ballots are simply more reliable. Patriotic states must also shore up their absentee ballot verification process, limiting the ability to only those who are truly in need or pass a real and verifiable identification process. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.